Hey guys, Scott again in downtown Waco, of course, and I'm really excited to introduce you to the Evans family, family-owned business. They are adding to Waco's growing food and craft brew scene. So I am here today, Southern Roots Brewery, right off of Austin Avenue, Columbus Ave, 8th Street. Make sure you check them out. I believe they're gonna try and open October 5th. And uh, let's come and meet some of these guys. Hi, Evans family. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> Um, all right, we're going to talk to Dustin over here. This is the guy kind of running the show within the family. How y'all doing? Uh, thank y'all for coming out. Uh, Southern Roots Brewing Company, it's been a labor of love. We're really excited to be here in the Waco community, and we just look forward to serving everybody our family-made recipes. Cool. Can you tell me a little bit how you got started? I know you've been uh, brewing beer since about 2018, I think, right? Yes. Uh, the long and short of it is, is it was just a hobby. You know, I'd go hang out with my dad in the garage, drink beer, maybe have a few, who knew? Um, and then what we did is every time a sibling got married, we'd take the beer to the wedding. Well, after a few weddings, people started saying things like, well, if you've made this beer professionally, you know, I'd buy it. And then now I can turn around and say, boy, have I got a deal for you. <laughs> so here we are, we're selling the beer. We started making it at weddings, upgraded from our garage, and we're doing it full scale now. But right now we've got, we're actually brewing today, we're doing our Irish Red Ale. Uh, which is a big crowd pleaser. Uh, we've got our blonde going, which uh, the heart of Texas blonde. So October 11th, when we get open, there's going to be a date set aside for you to meet up with a hot blonde at our bar. Uh, <laughs> we're uh, and again, these are all just family recipes. Um, well, we our approach to beer making was, you know, you can reinvent the wheel. You can make tons of crazy beer. We just wanted to make good beer that people already enjoyed and provide a great place to come and drink. So we've got your standard amber lagers, your blondes, your IPAs. We try to provide something for everybody. So this is our brew house and brew area. Uh, what we operate on is a seven barrel system. Seven barrels, as that equates to non-brewers, is about 14 kegs. So I can brew about 14 kegs of beer at a time. Um, if I get wild, I do have the capacity to kind of expand up to 30 kegs in a day, but that's our typical output. That's awesome. This is definitely a game changer in Waco. We've got some great beers around here, but you're doing something different, and that is awesome. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so uh, tell me what you got brewing in here today. So today, like I said, we're making our Irish Red, and what we're actually doing in this portion is mashing. Uh, basically what I've done is we've milled the grain, crushed it, we brought it in, we've added hot water, and the goal is to extract the sugars, and it's the sugars that turn into fermentables that give us beer. Okay. So it's gonna soak in here, we're gonna try to get all that good sugar out of there, and then in a little bit, we'll transfer it over to our boil kettle. Once it goes to the boil kettle, that's where you'll do the things like add your hops, your flavors, what have you. Uh, so this is about an hour, hour and a half, that takes about an hour, hour and a half, um, and then after that, it goes into one of those fermenters. And in a couple weeks, I'm serving the people of Waco a great beer. So my wife is a genius, and she came up with this idea. We were talking one day about how, because um, like I said, we have family members who are veterans, how our World War II, Korea, Vietnam era veterans, we're losing them, uh, which means we're losing those stories. So we want to preserve that history. So with these cans, what we can do is we fill them with beer, and then we'll put a sticker on it. What we're going to do is we're going to take local uh, veterans who served Vietnam, Korea, World War II, get a little write-up about their story. We're going to put it on the can, and then we'll have an event where everybody comes out, and you get to meet the veteran and preserve that story and take it home with you and that way we can hold on to these stories that have defined us this is so awesome I love stuff like that you guys great job all around like this place can it's be all incredible. her so. <laughs> awesome. what do you got going on food wise this this menu looks pretty awesome to me thank you we went with a lot of handheld like pretzels and wings and garlic knots uh, and then I came up with some signature pizzas, and what I did with our pizzas is I crafted them to match with our beers. So I have a pizza for each one of our flagship beers. So I've got a style for our IPA, a beer to go, or a pizza to go with the beer. You have it. What we did is we tried to curate an experience of both beer, craft beer, and dining as well, and try to marry the two together. Perfect. I'm uh, ready to order a Georgia right now, please. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else you just kind of want the community to know about you guys or anything, you know, you just feel important to tell us about who you are and 
you know, what you hope to do here long term? You know, we just hope that uh, with as inviting as everybody has been in part of the Waco community, we just are excited to serve them and we hope that in the years to come we provide them what they've given to us, which is a place to call home. So we want to provide a brewery for the people of Waco to call their own and that's, that's what we're here to do. That's awesome. We are certainly happy to have you guys here. I look forward to trying out your beers and your food items and telling all my friends to make sure they get down here. Early October opening up, make sure you're here. Alright, thanks guys.